to day 95 of our teen devotional. So we're moving ahead. We're almost at day 100. Um, and then we'll, we'll move on. And before you know it, it'll be one year into devoting ourselves, uh, devoting time to the Lord so that we may grow and become all that he created us to be. <clears throat> Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and have a moment of silence and then our reading and then not a moment of silence. I'm acting like I'm in school, right? A moment of prayer, which is what they should have in school. Um, our reading and then our lesson for today. <clears throat> Most gracious God, we come before you just thanking you, God, thanking you for all of who you are. Thanking you, Lord, for allowing us to come near you and to boldly come before your throne and ask for mercy. So, Father, if there's anything that we have done, said, or thought that is not pleasing unto you, Father, we ask, Lord God, that you have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that you are tabernacle in the midst of this meeting, that, Father, that you will add to us and never take away. And that, Father, we may glorify your name always by the life that we live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> So your reading for today comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 11, through chapter 31, verse 29, and from Luke, chapter 11, verses 5 through 32. Our lesson, however, will come from the book of Proverbs. And the, simply put, the book of Proverbs is, is, is good advice. It's just uh, a book of good things to do. So in this particular Proverbs, which is Proverbs 8, it talks about wisdom. And wisdom is God's way of doing things. And so not only do we have a book of good things to do, Proverbs, we have the we have all the books of the Bible that teach us something about everything from everything from every different angle that we could imagine the whole bible is god's wisdom but most problems that we have is that we have all of this good stuff in the bible and we don't read it it's like we have this winning award winning recipe that has been passed down to make the best cake in the world that will, that once you bake it, it has been tried and tried and tried. Every time this cake is baked using these ingredients, the way that you should use it, it wins some sort of award. But if you never put it together, if you never take it off the shelf, then it's just a good recipe. The same thing with the word of God. If you never pull it off of your shelf and read it more than just reading it for um, Sunday school or reading it for church or reading it because parents are telling you to read it. If you're never reading it for yourself and you have access to all of this stuff and it's just sitting there. And the Bible even warns us about that. That you have, don't, just because you have a Bible and just because you go to church and you hear the word of God doesn't make you any better than anybody else in, in any way. The Bible says, do not be deceived, not only be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. You may hear all day long to respect your parents and you may never do it. And the Bible says that if you know what to do and you don't do it, it's a sin. So in reality, when I place you and an unbeliever, the unbeliever that did not read, did not know about this certain aspect of the Bible, God will not hold them accountable for that. But if you know and you don't do, God will hold you accountable because you know that. And so, you know, I have heard the strangest things concerning the word of God. I have even heard um, this uh, this guy say that he's satisfied 
with the life that he's living. He likes to party and have a good time. And he's not reading the Bible because if he reads it, he's going to have to change. And he's not ready to change yet. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? That you would rather have a good time in your mind and not read the word of God and miss on all the blessings that God has for you through a temporary satisfaction of the flesh. So today's lesson is to read your word for his wisdom. Read his word so that you will know how to live your life and that you will know what to do. You have access to it. To not slip through the cracks thinking that, okay, you know, I go to church and I, I hear the word and I already know that. I already know, you know, not to do that. I already know not, but you do it anyway. The Bible says that you are deceiving. You are lying to yourself. You are lying to yourself saying that you are this type of individual for the Lord. You are lying to yourself. You are lying to yourself. So let's not make ourselves out to be a liar before the Lord. Let's do what he has instructed in his book for us to do. Amen. May you be blessed and may you start reading so that your life will pleasure the Lord always. Amen. Most gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for your patience. We thank you for your understanding. We thank you, God, for your wisdom. Father, give us the grace to seek you in your word and then father empower us to do what you have instructed for us to do in your word so that we may live the life that you always Lord god that you always desire for us to live and father may your name be glorified forever in our lives in jesus name we pray amen god bless you guys see you next time